Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. If anybody's guessing, it's a video game, an online game. I think it's cross-platform by Konami. And my impressions of this game, after playing it for about two weeks, is all over the place, so this podcast might be all over the place. Plus, I got called into work and messed my schedule up. At least it's not a scientific article I'm reading and mess every word up. But I've been a fan of, well, let's start from the beginning, right? I'm born in 71. I've been in the coin-op craze, all the Pac-Man, asteroids, the whole thing. So I've been there from the beginning, blah, 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 blah. I was a really big Magic the Gathering fan. At the same time, well, obviously I was playing Dungeons and Dragons since I was a child. So going, growing up, it, Magic the Gathering caught my attention. They kind of bought TSR, that type of thing. And there's always um, something that catches my eye, uh, something I like about the strategy. I describe it in some things like I do when I play a video game around baseball. And there's... Something about pitching the pitch and taking it slow, and it lets my brain work in a different way. It lets the problems be worked out in the background, much like therapy, like Dungeons and Dragons is for me. And Yu Gi Oh! has always been like that. Now, Magic the Gathering was like that until it got too complicated and too bloated with craziness. And I just stopped playing much. And I already played in a store with the tournaments, and they had the whole thing. I even have a lot of good cards left, although I donated um, a good portion of my stuff to a local store. So, I'm a nerd, Dungeons & Dragons, video games from the beginning, Yu-Gi-Oh! from the beginning, although I can't say I went from the manga, the uh, Shogun Jump series, you know, they starts as a, you know, a uh, little cartoon thing. But anyway, I was... The biggest fan of the cartoon. I love it. Still love it. And there's something about Yu-Gi-Oh's theme that works better than anything else I've ever seen. And I'll kind of get to that in a second. Um, so when the trading card game coincides with the TV show, I have like nine, ten decks. I have lots of cards. Blah, 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 blah. But... As soon as they got away from the central characters of Yugi and Joey and Mai and that thing, I stayed around for a while because I still loved it. I was still playing Yu-Gi-Oh! with my friend. And then eventually started to teeter off and I wasn't too interested in, you know, life shit happens, right? And sort of got away from it. But all the video games I would get, and I played them all, even ones that didn't really fit a theme of Yu-Gi-Oh!, and I can't say I'm the most avid, like I played everything thoroughly, but it's brought such joy to me, especially, you know, how it catches the theme of its um, major plot and puts it into the show. And, and I'll explain now, in a, when you're looking at Magic the Gathering or maybe Dungeons and Dragons, a cartoon kind of did it where they were playing D&D &D and got sucked into a D&D &D world. Whatever, at amusement park, I'm sorry. But the comic, the theme of the show, is about them playing a trading card game. And the trading card game is a real trading card game that you can play. And they did it so well, I think it's the best probably ever done. Not only is it a great cartoon, great themes for kids, and all that good stuff, it is about the game and you can play the game you can learn about the cards you could see them dueling their decks you want to have the decks the cards they have it's it was a it was a coming from me who's been here in 1971 blah 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 da, da, da. you're looking at it and this was a breakthrough it was so unique for me so well done i mean yeah people are going to be pulling things out and but i just don't ever see it done so well you're playing a trading card game where there's a, there's a method and there's all rules and you're calling and summoning monsters and traps and spells. And it was such a breath of fresh air compared to what I just left with 
Magic the Gathering, and it was so much fun. Like I said, I have tons of decks, structured decks, the whole nine. Played every video game basically up to, let's say, 10 years ago, something like that. And still, you know, touched on them. So now I'll start getting to Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, the game that's cross-platform now that I started playing on Xbox. A friend of mine started doing uh, Twitch streaming. I started looking around, helping, you know, joining the fun. And I said, you know what, let me look for a game that I would probably be interested in. And Yu-Gi-Oh! is being played by a lot of people on Twitch. And I, you know, I went looking for it on Xbox. My brother dropped me off an Xbox. Boom, I can get it for free. And I was happy as a, a little kid. But my frustration grew as soon as I started playing it. It feels like a beta. Now, it came out in 20, 2022, right? So it's recent, I get it. But it feels beta, stripped down, and it's just superficial. It doesn't feel Yu-Gi-Oh to me. And this is going to be nerdy and, you know, maybe it's not the right way, but I'll try to do it. A decent job of this. The game is free to play, and it's amazingly free to play. You start the game, you get some gems, you go through some missions, they teach you how to play, storyline, you get enough gems to buy their gold battle pass. Yes, you make enough money of their currency in-game, and I was able to get the battle pass, which is probably bad battle pass, because it looks like it goes on for 60 days, but you're done with it in fucking 12 or 10, some people maybe sooner. However, awesome. You get into the game, you're free to play. You're looking around, cards, this and that. You buy the battle pass with your own currency, and you could disassemble and generate, create your own cards. Now, that process will be a little slow going because they don't give it to you for free, but it's there. And they give it to you for free, and that you have to grind for it. Grind, you, know, you have to do repetitive things, day to day, little goals, and you get these gems, and you're able to buy packs. I have bought tons of packs, opened up tons disassembled, generated with no money in the game I would see this as a way to, you put money into the game just to know you're getting what you want to get because you need a certain deck And so there's no real pay to win here in that sense a lot of it's strategy and you can use old school cheap strategies to have fun and be competitive so there you go great pro right there free to play amazingly free to play However, getting into the basics, like I said, it feels like a beta. The story mode feels thrown together and just ridiculous in some of the decks and stuff. So the solo mode brings you through practice, dueling, and storyline. Now, I get that every creature can't be animated and everything can't be a cartoon. And you're using your own artistic flavor, but it could have been done better artistically, visually, and then we're getting into the nuts and bolts of the mechanics of the game. Here's the premise, here's the deck you're going to be fighting, here's the loner deck, they loan you a deck, and the process is supposed to be to help out and, you know, teach you along. And if it's for new, new people, uh, I don't know. Uh, I hope you're doing well, because it's a, it was a nightmare from... The way the computer pulls out decks to it thinking for 20 minutes at a time, and you're like, come on, I want to get this over with. You don't want this type of thing in the game, and I think they missed the boat there. Story mode is a mess hodgepodge of unbeatable, ridiculous combo decks that you fight, and some that are easy. You know, when you look at it, and you get to substitute your own deck, so you can go through the story mode with a loaner deck that they give you for everyone and it's different you learn about things and then you could switch over and go your deck and then do it again you get more bonuses and i did that because now i'm i completed everything and it coming away from the experience feels hollow and i started understanding for me at least why and there's a it's not even a childhood thing. It's the, it's the childhood in me. It's the, 
It's the place you were at. It's the magic that happened when you first found Yu-Gi-Oh! And you were playing it with your friends at the table. And you got to play it online and play the video games. It's gone. Not once did I see Yu-Gi-Oh! Or Yugi or Joey or Kyber. No one's guiding me through the game with familiar faces and talking to me. And I'm talking about just pop. Look, you're going to do your artistic way now where it's just a rendition uh, you know, and it's like sliding things, a little bit of fire, but there's no real animation in here. Let me see, let, let them guide me through this. There's nothing here. The only thing I even recognized was Blue Eyes White Dragon. That's it. I feel no attachment to the world, the, the lore, the story, anything. Even when you're going through the story mode, why isn't Yugi... Guiding us, or Kyber, or Joey. If this is a whole prequel story about what happened, whatever, that led up to the cartoons and the pharaohs and the heart of the cards, whatever. It's got to be done better. This is, it was devoid of uh, warmth and comfort. It had no impact on me. I wasn't even sure I was playing a fucking Yu-Gi-Oh game. And... Let's get to the next part. Yu-Gi-Oh's become like Magic the Gathering. It's so complicated with what they can do and how many things you can do. Your psycho, synchro, fucking link summoning, and there's, everything's going on. And that could be really cool and competitive because you got to learn. you got to get on the cur- you know, get up there, get on the curve, whatever the fucking it is. And I started to, you know, I'm, I'm learning my stuff, and... I took one of their decks, tweaked it, made it mine, you know, that type thing. Then I'm building a Stardust Dragon deck. And I'm trying, and I'm really immersing myself in this world, but it's giving me nothing back. There's no, there's not that many modes. There's a, a dual mode. You do other people, you can set up rooms. And then certain days of the week or the month, there's an event going on. And the event will coincide with dueling live and a subsection that'll have the theme, which was, uh, I believe, XYZ, and that gave you some perks and bonuses. And by the way, awesome. Free to play, tons of cr- credits and gems and packs to open. It's fucking awesome in that regard. But it's unwieldy, wild, and fucking out there. And the shit that people are doing, all that stuff, it's overwhelming. And when I'm not grounded, and when I'm not immersed, and I'm not feeling comfortable with the characters and the lore and the world I love the flaws become bigger than they should be possibly the nitpicks because it's a Yu-Gi-Oh game it's done the way it's done it's you know, how much can I critically say something about a video game or a card game system even because it's a simulation get your deck you know you, you brick you get your shitty hands here and there you laugh whatever but in a nutshell, I'm looking at Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel as um, a release, a getaway that I can get back into because I don't have a baseball game. It was free. And boy, was I fucking let down. Oh, the daily stuff. How do you want to do it? Um, like I said, it feels like a beta. They've done some beta stuff. Uh, I used to love doing some beta testing and you know, seeing how the games are going to develop. But this is a little bit um, subpar. It, it's I can remember one of the last Yu-Gi-Oh! games I played, which was similar to this. It was just online. I don't know what it was called. TC or something duels, whatever the fuck. And it was recently, recent, you know, I don't know. Whatever. And you still felt that the, the images, the, the surroundings, the environment, it felt like you were in a Yu-Gi-Oh! game. One of the games I played on the console was, I think, Xbox 360, and, you know, you're learning about things. It was a fucking game on Xbox, it was a PlayStation, that it wasn't even the card system where you did the summoning, but you had to move them around, and you were animated. They've gone in so many directions, but it still felt like I was with Yugi, and I was with Joey, and I was with Kyber. And I even developed a fondness for the characters that came afterwards. But they're not here. This is not a, a, a fun place, a warm place to, you know, kick up my feet, drink my coffee, and immerse myself in Yu-Gi-Oh. This, that's not what this is. It just feels like a quick, thrown-together thing, because other things had done it well. 
But there is still people playing the other trading card game online thing. And maybe there's more to come. This is, you know, Konami. I don't know, you know, the fucking game industry these days. And, and this goes back to the, what, 90s, right? Late 90s, the, the anime manga. Uh, you know, I'm on board. Uh, I'm on board from the beginning to the end. And it, may, it might be that these last years I skipped out, but I'm sure that people who love new characters and new developments of the story are just wondering what the fuck is going on also. And the story mode was supposed to help that, but it doesn't bridge anything. It gives me information, yeah, it tells me a story, and it does it on a backdrop that's mostly um, stable, except it maybe moves. You know, it feels like, you know, 1950s, uh, you know, how they made Cell, whatever. But it, it, it's done visually, and his words pop up, you gotta read them. I'm okay with that. I mean, I don't need everything to be rendered top-notch 3D graphics, but you gotta do something. You gotta... You gotta mix it up a little bit with the people I know and uh, the sayings they say, and it's all gone. It's missing from this. It just makes me feel like I'm doing something I don't want to do. And what I mean by that is, as I'm helping out my friend, just you know, supporting them, being a viewer, making a comment here and there, and I look around and I'm like, oh shit, you know, you, yeah, I'm. I gotta see how this is and what I would do with it. What would I start streaming and twitching or whatever the fuck they do? And I got my Xbox here; it's ready to go. You know, so I'm like, okay, maybe this will be this will be something for me. Because I'm not that guy who you know, first person. All you see is a receptacle and it's chaos and you're shooting people. Uh, I don't know, Overwatch, Fortnite. It just doesn't feel me. Except I wanted to be fucking Spider-Man until I found out you had to be fucking 90 levels and buy a pass. So I downloaded that, by the way, and just fucking dropped that in like four hours of playing. And I really thought Yu-Gi-Oh! was going to be that escape. It was going to be that nostalgia. It was going to have. It was gonna get me in the feels. It was going to feel like I'm back with my old friends. And it's so weird. It shows you what a child I really am and what a nerd. I'm 50 fucking years old. My, when I say nostalgia, my childhood, I'm, the fuck, how old was I, 30 years old when this came out? Born in 71, 98, 99, 96. Ugh, I'm old enough, right? But these are the things that I look for that, that make me feel comfortable and warm and fuzzy and good feelings. And it lets me process things. To, you know, I sit back and I duel, get the cards, what strategy, what am I going to pull out? All that. It needs the trappings that I'm familiar with. It needs to feel like I'm with the old friends, and this didn't do that. And this is going to be a jumbled mess, I know, but like I said, I got distracted by being called into work. I'm talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, a cross-platform game that's on right now. It on right, You know, it's, it's being played right now. Um, free. Greatly improved in that sense. Everything is free, and it's awesome. And that, I can't believe how much I was able to gather, how many packs I've been able to buy, how many things I've been able to, you know, uh, take apart and then generate new cards. And yeah, now I'm at a point where I'm stuck for the things that I, I might want. So I got to be careful because, you know, you might want a really good card. Like, um, I don't know, what's everybody talking about? Like Nibiru. And you got to go generate it, but it's super rare. So you don't got that many credits, but you work towards it and, and it can be done. I just wish it was more of the old cartoon. I, I want to see and feel, you know, that stupid fucking song, the Yu-Gi-Oh song and the soundtrack, and I just don't feel it here. And the frustration of playing these games is fucking mind-numbing. You gotta play against the computer and it just fucking keeps putting this icon up like it's thinking, like, hey, asshole, I'm a fucking... Mook from Brooklyn, New York. I, I'm not that fucking good at the game. Do your fucking moves and let's go. And it leads to another problem I noticed, and I just kind of had an instinct and then wanted to verify it. So I'm playing online. You got to duel people online. That's fine. Sometimes you get disconnected. Sometimes you don't. And even when you don't get disconnected, you're wondering why people are taking their time. It's a strategy game, and fine, right? But you get to a point where you're clearly done where he, he can beat you. And then they keep doing things, and, um, keeping the game going. And I thought maybe it was cute at first, like, you know, what's going on or whatever. 
You know, does he feel bad for me? You know, I suck that bad. You got to fucking let me go a couple of rounds. Whatever. But as I'm playing the game progressing, I'm noticing that some of my goals and things that you collect that are daily and some are unlimited. Meaning, you know, you, you summon a creature five times or then it's uh, all the way up to a hundred. Uh, steal a creature, you know, all these things. And since I'm in the chat on Twitch and I'm in that community and I'm trying to look, you know, get a little um, information and make friends in that area. I was like, why, why do that? So what's going on is they are doing as many summons as they can and many this as they can to get the goals done and collect the coins or the gems. And I just don't want to play. I don't even want to fucking play on. I don't want to duel nobody no more. I'd rather you fucking beat me. Wipe me out in 30 seconds. Let me figure out my mistakes. Fine. And I do understand the nail biting, you know, move for move thing that takes a while. I'm, I'm down for it. Games can get real strategic and real in-depth and real, you know, pulse pounding in a way. And it's good. And it's means that the structure of the car system is still has value and works. It is a competitive, really fun game to play that way. But when you're in the fucking house, you know, you can go, you can do the Ralph crammed and Ed Norton, like, come on already. Like, you know, he wouldn't be, my friends wouldn't be sitting here doing extra things so they can get bonuses. And I think that really fucked this game up bad. It's one thing to have goals, you know, okay, you summon whatever. And by the way, this is just adding on to the people who just do it, no matter, just to do it. Because I've been watching people on stream, and the guy is going, oh, I'm just going to make them wait now. And they'll sit there and let their timer go down and then make them move. You know, just a, you know what, that, that, that whole fucking mentality just bothers me. I get taking your time and being strategy and chess and check, whatever. And you want to plan your moves, and it gives you the time for that. But it just feels ridiculous. It feels fucking drawn out and bullshit happens because they got to meet goals and get some extra fucking summonses in and steal your monster enough times and do damage with this damage. Enough traps have to go off. Enough spells have to go off. And they get higher on their thing. They get better things. And then your level goes up. Whatever. It makes for the fucking just most mind-numbing fucking gameplay I've ever had in Yu-Gi-Oh! I long for the day where I can go to a story mode against a fucking computer and, and play against Kyber's deck, Joey's deck, Mai's deck. Like, I don't care. And all these fucking things that have come up with all this intricacy and how Magic the Gathering got ruined that are here now for me, even though I think, or maybe I'm delusional, that the old way with a good strategy can still work and I'm have, I'd have fun with it. And I do have fun here and there. You got all these ways to beat me. Just fucking beat me already. And stop with the fucking redoing this, this, that, this, that, that, this, that, when I got nothing there. And I've done this for several times. Where I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I, I, I have nothing out. No, try oh, well, there could be something in your hand that you're using. Yeah. You know what? Fuck off. This game is borderline cheap and mind numbing. But it does have a core that I still want to be good. Because what can you say about a game like this? Simulates a Yu-Gi-Oh game. I'm playing online with the decks and the cards. Shut the fuck up, right? But it, like I said, it's not just that. Because if me and my friend were playing and we're taking time, we're smoking a blunt, we're, smoking, we're talking, right? And he's like, mm -hmm, what am I going to do? And then he makes his move, right? You make your move. He's not sitting here for another 20 fucking minutes because someone's giving him treats. Or, or you know, it, this game, it just... Every time I see my daily goal, I get anxiety. Like, I don't want to play. That should not fucking happen. And I'm not talking about going online and getting wiped out by somebody. I laugh my ass off and I have fun. And I want to see how many times my deck shits on itself. I play this solo mode now with different decks just to see. I bloat them. I give them like 50 card decks and I saw it will. Because that's the only fun I'm having now in the game. Is playing against ridiculous AI decks in story mode and trying to make my decks better but for what to go online and duel against people even in the event 
And to have the bullshit go on and on and on and on and nonsense. And again, I'm not talking about strategizing, having a good time, and taking your time to make the right move. I get it. You're into the game. It's what I like. It lets the back processes of your brain work while you focus on things. Look, our brains are on 24 hours a day. I implore people to play Dungeons and Dragons and things like that because it's a form of meditation. Your brain is focusing on creativity, one of the most beautiful things in the world. And at the same time, it's letting the other processes work itself out. It's like saying, you know what, just don't study hard before a test the night before. Just glance over it and it'll work itself out in your sleep. You know? Anyway, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, I thought was a shining beacon of light in a sea of fucking craziness. Because I'm not a big fan of Overwatch and Fortnite, Dead by Dawn. I fucking can't stand watching this fucking game be played. And so... And I thought, I said, oh my god, Yu-Gi-Oh, holy shit, this is it. Like a child, so happy, smiling, downloaded it. Oh, so fucking happy. Started getting the gems, the free-to-play way. Oh my god, this is amazing. Okay, got a little worried because it's so complicated, it's like magic. But it's still not as bad as that. It's just very unwieldy and fucking loony when you got to... I finished the whole, I completed, and I mean completed, all of the solo. Cleared and completed. And I still have no fucking idea about a pendulum deck and certain ways things work. But I'm not here for, I I just don't come into the game and go, oh, this is going to be fun getting my online dueling dailies done. No, I'm like, how long is this going to fucking take? Right? How much bullshit do I have to go through? And I don't care about disconnects. This shit happens, all right? I get disconnected, you get disconnected, it gives me a victory, it gives you a victory. I don't care. I don't care about the fucking ranking either. I don't care about going plat, you know, whatever the fuck it is. I give no fucks. I want to have fun. I want to enjoy myself. I want to escape into a world I really loved and grew up with. And again, grow up with. I wasn't even a kid. I'm fucking 28 when it came out, whatever the fuck it was. But this is an escape a joyous escape for me. I have DVDs of the seasons of fucking Yu-Gi-Oh! And I bought them when I was fucking 30-something. I love it. And like I said, it's so uniquely done so well. It's a card game in the cartoon. And it's exactly the same. It could teach you the moves and everything. You can get their decks. It's mind-blowingly awesome. I fucking recommend the Yu-Gi-Oh! cartoon to anybody start from the beginning. It's amazing. You'll get into the card game, which is amazing. And it goes from putting one car- one monster out. If you want to summon a more powerful one, you have to sacrifice him. And then put another one in. And just look out for blue eyes. And look out for the dark magician. Now it's, oh my god, are you done yet? This one goes into this one. They can summon this one. This one goes summon this one. This one summon this one. This one attaches to this one. Attaches to that one. And then you're dead. Your two of your guys go away out of nowhere. And you're like, okay, let me go read the card. And you can't read the fucking card fast enough, right? And then there are times where all you can do is fucking read cards. Uh, it's a weird experience. And I'm not even saying it's easy to be done, right? Because in my room with my friend, Rob comes over. We play fucking Yu-Gi-Oh! Which is so much fun. Fucking four hours go by of awesomeness. And, you, you know, you, it's just hard to do maybe online. I get it. But it's a simulator for the fucking game. <clears throat> but there's too many things. And I don't know, you know, what would be the end game here if it's fleshed out? Would every card you pull out would be an animation? Because sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. It's just a card. And then when the final blow happens, the card goes into the thing. It feels like I'm in 1998 again, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. But when does this get brought to the next level? And maybe I'm like, again, it's been 10 years or so, but I've only dipped my toe in. But what did I fucking miss? And I don't mind doing my due diligence, going in and learning, because that's what I've done. for That's what the two weeks have been. Going in bonkers and then taking time to learn about synchro summoning, link summoning. Although that was back, I remember I do remember that coming out. So I had the structure decks, and the, as it as it as it progressed, and I, I just, I don't know. I wanted to feel in this time of learning and getting to 
you know, wrap my head around all this stuff again, that I would have the familiar faces and environment. I don't feel that here. You know, the one saving thing is I got the fucking Dark Magician as my mate. He, he stands on the side of the fucking duel battle. And I just stare at him because it's cool. And guess what? Not even a good fucking angle to see him at. Uh, you know, little perks that you get, like the bases and your deck cards. And it's just protectors. I don't... I don't feel it. I don't feel it here. I don't know why. Every time I go to another screen, I don't see Joey or Yugi and even the newer people who were in it with the fucking race cars. And just, I, I, you know, I don't know. I, in a way, I'm so disappointed. But in a way, I'm thinking of how ridiculous this is because it's just a simulated game for you, your card game. You shut the fuck up. Just go online and play. I don't know. I wanted more. I wanted to feel like, you know, I was back in the world that I really fucking love, and I still love to this day. Uh, you know, I don't know. Anyway, this is my jumbled fucking podcast on Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, a cross-platform game. You can play right now. You guys can go try it. It's an online. It's got a solo campaign mode with about 13 to 14 chapters, and in each chapter is several to many duels you have to do and some are practice duels it just tells you to do things and go through the motions and some are you're on your own and then there's a chapter ending thing where you just read a story and the bonuses are great the way you can buy your battle pass for free is cheap awesome getting packs i had so many i was opening up so many i thought i was in a fucking robbing somebody like this is so there's so much good in that sense um because if you do like the game, you're fucking set. Because I didn't feel no pressure to have to put money into the game to get a com- card to compare competitive with somebody. Or well, what was the one thing I did uh, after playing for a while? Uh, all right, so there was a spell called One for One. And I, I didn't have it. And I just generated it. You know, okay, so I, I can't do many of them. <clears throat> I went around, I broke down all the cards that are over four that you, that you can because you don't need more than three. I go through that process. Every time I opened up like five, ten packs, every once in a while I go back and my my joy or my fun now is taking a 56 card deck of, of an idea and just running it through the solo modes with their ridiculousness and seeing how they do. Now, there is a part of this I kind of left out, and that is when you do duel online, you can create a dueling room. And in this room, you could have, let's say, five tables. And you can share that room number, and you can get your friends in there and play. So, in that sense, if I played with my friend Rob in there, I wonder if I'm just a hypocrite and a biased ass because. Would we agree in there? Like, look, ooh, I want to get 80 extra coins. Let me do something. You know, I try to think of it from different angles, but I think we would just like to have fun and play. And I don't feel that's what's going on when I go into these duel rooms. Oh, and I go to duel live, because you got to duel live to get your daily credits and stuff. And it's just like, why? And it's not the it's not the fun why, you know, dilemma where you're like, Oh, I'm not good enough. Whatever, I don't care. Like, I'm having fun when I play the decks together. I just don't want to sit there for 20 minutes at a pop where you just keep doing things to do things. And you know what? Some decks are do things decks. I get it, you know? You have to go through a process. One of my, my Stardust Dragon deck I'm doing, I got like six things to do in the first round and get out my more powerful characters. You know, so I see it, but it's like, it feels like people just dilly dallying around to get those bonuses. And like I said, I was in the chats and that was the consensus of someone even admitted, you know, yeah, I got, you know, I got to get, you know, a thousand traps sprung or whatever. You know, I just thought of it as they'll come when they come. I want to have fun. I'll, it'll be a pleasant surprise when oh, I go to collect something and it says you, you took control of another player's character 50 times. Yay, right? But I'm not going out every fucking time I duel and keep stalling the game to get that combo out where I can steal the guy's card. And this is what it feels like every time I play. And maybe it's a combination of P 
people who are just experimenting and doing their thing. But it doesn't have a fun feeling to me because, like I said, I might be a hypocrite or whatever, but if this had the trappings that I liked, I might let it go. Like I said, right from the beginning, I was wondering, where is everybody and why don't I feel like I'm in Yu-Gi-Oh? Why isn't Joey guiding me through some of the things or his grandfather or talking about, you know, the heart of the cards and Yugi and the Pharaoh? Like, this is the, this is the basis where you can have a, a game that's beta-like and is working and is trying to do its best. Give them the benefit of the doubt that they're trying to make a great game and they plan on doing everything. You have to give me the trappings and surroundings to get through that. That's how I feel. So right now, I don't recommend Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel in, no, in that realm, in that way, because, okay, it's free and it's great for that. So I'm thinking about it now. You know what? Maybe I recommend it. I'll recommend people go try it. It's free, right? With the big deals, you play it a little bit. I'm just trying to give it the impression of why I'm sort of not excited to play it every day. In any case, I hope everybody's doing well. My best to you and yours. Till next time, take care.